What can you tell me? about parallel lines. For parallel lines, number one, let's talk about the definition. They are coplanar lines that never intersect. Now to have that happen, you have to have, just like you were saying, they have to have the same slope but they must also have <coughs> different points. In particular, it's easier, easiest to check that they have different y-intercepts. So same slope and different y-intercepts. That's how we're going to algebraically check for parallel lines. You guys okay with that? Now we're going to talk about parallel lines. Let's go ahead and talk about his his brother, who's his brother? Perpendicular. Perpendicular, right? And what you know about perpendicular lines? Intersect. Right, these are lines that intersect, but they intersect in a very special way. They intersect to form right angles. I mean, that's the same thing as saying a 90 degree <coughs> angle. What, whatever helps you out with that. Now, what about their slopes? Their opposites? Well, opposite or inverse. I mean, I don't know what you call it, but flip it and change the signs. So. Slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Slopes are negative reciprocals. That's one thing to check. Another thing is that the product of their slopes the product of their slopes is equal to negative one. Now, does somebody mention my clown name? Flip and switch, right? If I were ever going to be a clown, everything floats down here. Yes. I'd be flipping switch. <laughs> Don't give me that that look like I'm crazy. <laughs> Let's go back to the whole Captain Obvious statement, right? Which you made up. If I say that the slope of a line is equal to seven thirds. And that means that the slope that's parallel to that is equal to what? It should be exactly the same, which is 7 thirds. However, if I want to have the perpendicular slope, you flip this guy, you do the reciprocal, and you negate that. You make that, you change its sign, so it's a negative 3 sevenths. Is that okay? What if I said the slope of something was equal to negative 5? What would be the slope of a line that's parallel to that guy? It had to be the same thing, which is negative 5. If the slope wasn't the same, if it was off by even a little bit, if you said negative 5.1, then what happens? Eventually, eventually they would intersect, right? What would be the perpendicular slope to this guy? If you look at this guy as being a fraction over 1, if I want to do the negative reciprocal, flip this guy over and change the sign so that becomes a positive one fifth. You guys okay with that? So just just for fun here, just for fun. If I said this, if I said y equals
I really don't like the way I wrote that. Let's pretend I didn't write that way. We'll just cut that out whenever I edit this movie. Now? Oh, a quick time movie, yes. If y equals 2 fifths x plus 3, if I just give you that guy, can you give me an example of something Example of a parallel line. I'm <coughs> oh, sorry. Was that y equals two fifths x plus Kofsky's hack? Yes. Plus four. Plus five. Plus six. Plus three point one. There you go. Sure. Two fifths x plus pi. Or four. Or three point one. Or minus one hundred. Right. These guys have the same slope. Do you all agree? <coughs> what if I said I want something that is perpendicular to it? What could you say? Y equals negative 5 halves x plus y equals negative 5 halves x pi times 3.1 plus whatever. <coughs> you can say plus or minus whatever, right? Yes. But you know what you could do? You could just leave it like this, right? Because isn't this guy perpendicular to this original guy? With or without a number out here, he's still going to be perpendicular, which means when they intersect, what? You form four right angles. Notice here you kept the slope the same, but you had to change the y-intercept, right? To be parallel? Perpendicular lines don't care. Because don't perpendicular lines intersect anyway? So the, pr the thing with perpendicular lines is not where do they intersect. It's just that they, they do intersect, and they have to intersect to form right angles. And that's going to be by having the slopes be negative reciprocals. So you can have plus 3. You can have plus <coughs> 30. Those guys would still be perpendicular to this original guy. <coughs> 